Rachel, I just heard from my son about this big trip. He told me he'll be gone for two long months for work, out of state, right? We all knew this day would come, that he'd have to travel far for his job, but I was hoping it would be when your little one was older. Hi, Scarlett. Yeah, that's right. He's leaving for two whole months, much sooner than I expected. I thought he'd have more time before he had to go on such a long trip like this. He also told me that while he's away, he wants me to be there for you in case you need anything. So, if you ever need a hand or a shoulder to lean on, I'm here. I have a lot of free time now that I'm retired, and I'd love to help out with the kids or anything else. Thank you so much, Scarlett. But to be honest, I don't think it'll make much of a difference to me. I'll still get everything done while my daughter's at school. And I have my part-time job to keep me occupied, so I shouldn't get too stressed out at home. I understand. You have a lot going on. I'm sure my son will be a bit worried while he's away. But hey, now we can spend more time together, right? Maybe we can take Irene and go out for lunch and some shopping. It could be fun to enjoy these next couple of months. Well, you have a point there. It'll be nice to take a break from cooking for him every night. But don't tell him I said that, okay? Don't worry, your secret is safe with me. I know you'll manage everything just fine. The house, your daughter, your job. But it's good to have some fun sometimes. Though I guess your daughter might miss him a bit. She loves spending time with my son, doesn't she? Oh, they love their fishing and camping trips together. I usually stay home because bugs are not my thing. And even though she's a girl, she's really into stuff that boys usually like. She's always out getting muddy with the boys at recess. She comes home looking like a disaster. Nothing wrong with that. It just shows she's being raised right. I know, but I always thought she'd be more into girly things by now, like fashion and makeup and talking about boys. But lately, she's been asking for a pet lizard for her room. She's definitely her father's daughter, isn't she? I want to let her enjoy her interests, but I draw the line at having a reptile in the house. As a mom, you've got your limits, and that's part of raising kids. I was so excited to have a little girl. I just wish she'd start showing some interest in cuter things like dressing up and playing with dolls. These days, it doesn't really matter if someone's a boy or a girl when it comes to what they like to do. She's a bright, happy kid, and that's what counts. You and my son are doing a great job with her. That means a lot coming from you. Thanks, Scarlet. I really do mean everything I've said. And to be honest, kids will not always turn out the way their parents hope for. That's true. I can't really agree with her having a pet lizard in the house. But as long as she's outside with things like that, I'll let her to continue playing with them. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I have to go to the supermarket soon. Oh, it's already that time of day, isn't it? I'm sorry for taking up so much of your time today talking to you. Don't worry about it, Scarlet. It makes me feel a whole lot better knowing that you're there to offer me some help while my husband's away. I try my best not to rely on you too much, but if something does happen here, I'll let you know. Please and thank you, Rachel. And I'll do whatever I can to make sure that you and your girl are okay. Rachel, I need to talk to you about something. Are things going okay over there? Do you have a minute to talk, or are you in the middle of dinner right now? Good evening, Scarlet. I'm still getting a few things ready for dinner, so I can chat for a bit. Irene is still busy with her homework, so we won't be having dinner for a while. How is she doing? She's fine. She's been acting the same way she always does. Well, actually, I'm calling you because I'm concerned about her. Lately, she's been calling me a lot when it's almost time for bed. Wait, you're saying that Irene is the one calling you? Yes, and at first, I thought she was just calling because she wanted to talk to me. But it's been happening more and more often, and I'm starting to get worried about her. What does Irene talk to you about when she calls? Does she give you a reason why she's calling at night? Well, she doesn't really tell me why. I was wondering if there was something bothering her that she didn't want me to ask about, but I just thought it was strange that she was calling me so frequently late at night. I did ask her once, jokingly, but she said it was because you were taking a bath and she had some free time to talk. That makes sense to me. I've been taking a lot of baths lately, reading my books or watching movies on my phone to relax. And I could do that because my husband's away and Irene is old enough to take care of herself for a short time. But maybe she's been feeling lonely because of that. I'm sorry for making you deal with that. No, you don't have to apologize. 
but I'm really wondering if that's the real reason for her calling me so often. Sometimes she doesn't want to hang up and the call goes on for hours, and I can feel a sense of anxiety coming from her when she calls. That's probably because she loves talking to you, Scarlett. And I think she just wants to hear your voice and have a conversation with you. She's been having a good time at school, right? Yep, she has. Maybe I was just overthinking things a little. This week, we've been practicing letting her take baths on her own. And maybe that's a bit too hard for her since she still has to sit in the bathroom alone. I'll make sure from now on I get her out of the bath sooner so she doesn't feel scared of being alone. I think that'll give her more time to do things and not feel the need to call all the time. She still needs someone around to keep her company, though. And it's tough for her that my son is still out of town. I'm sure that's also part of why she wants to talk to you more. But from now on, I'll try and limit the time she spends on her phone and make sure she's not calling you all the time. You don't have to tell her to stop calling me. And I think that would make it harder for her to call anyone in the future. I think I was just being worried for no reason. Are you sure? Well, I'll still try to not leave her alone as much. So when she's in the tub or when I'm taking a bath, we're still near each other to keep each other company. All right, but I'm sure you still want to have some time for yourself. So when she has a day off school or it's the weekend, you can always bring her over to my place. Thank you for offering that. I'll work with Irene for a bit here, and when things calm down a bit, I'll ask you again to have her over your place. Grammy? Oh, Irene, it's been a little while. Have you eaten dinner and everything already? I already ate. What did you have for dinner today? I had chicken noodle soup to eat. Oh, that sounds so tasty. Right now, your Grammy's been having trouble eating soup lately because it makes her belly hurt. Uh, why? Because when you get old like me, you start to have problems eating lots of oil. <laughs> And you know that chicken noodle soup that Grammy makes has lots of oil in it, right? I didn't know that. But I think what I ate for dinner would be all right for you to eat, Grammy. It was chicken noodle soup from a box. Oh, so your mom didn't hand make the soup this time? Well, sometimes it's nice to have something light like those box chicken noodle soups. Well, sometimes it's okay to eat it. But I've been eating it every day now, so I'm getting sick of it. I bet that eating it every day would be very boring. Um, don't tell mom about any of this. If you said that to her, she'd get angry at me. Don't worry, Irene. I won't say anything about this. Hey, Grammy, I have something to ask you. Oh, what could it be? Do you have something that you want your Grammy to buy for you? I don't want anything right now. Tomorrow I'm going on a field trip to school, so I want you to make me a lunchbox. Hmm, your mom isn't going to make one for you to take? No. Why won't she make one for you? Is it that mom has become sick recently? No, mom hasn't. Mom hasn't been home for a week now, so I don't think she knows about the field trip that I have tomorrow. What? Grammy, please keep this a secret from my mom. I don't want her to hear about any of this. I won't tell her a thing, but... But can you tell me what you mean when you say that she hasn't been home for a week? She told me she has worked and will be out of the house and said that she didn't want me telling you or dad. She said that if I said anything about her, that dad would never come back home. Your mom has been at work? Your mom doesn't work a lot each week, right? I don't know. That's right. You wouldn't know anything about that kind of stuff. So right now you're home alone, Irene? Yes. And when you would call me a lot on the phone, was that because mom wasn't home? So, you called me because you were lonely? Yes. Do you know when your mom is supposed to come home? She said next Sunday. So, another three days from now then? All right then, Grammy is going to make you that lunchbox to take on the field trip tomorrow. I'll make sure that it's really yummy just for you, okay? Really? Thank you, Grammy. Hey, Irene, do you want to come and stay the night at Grandma's house until your mom comes home? Um, but if mom knows about this, dad will never come back home. You'll be fine, Irene. You can come over here as a secret and your mom will never know. And I'm telling you, Irene, that your dad will come home no matter what. Really? Has your Grammy ever lied to you before? No, you never lie. Okay, I want to go to Grammy's house. It has been really scary staying here all by myself. 
I'm sure it has been really scary for you. Being alone when you're young is scary and lonely. So asking someone to help you is not a bad thing to do, Irene. Now I'm going to drive your papa's car to your house and get you. I can't wait. I'll wait for you. Scarlet, I need to ask you something. Have you received any phone calls or messages from Irene lately? What's the reason for your question? I was just curious, that's all. I wanted to know if she was still bothering you with her problems or not. Irene has never been a troublemaker, Rachel. So you haven't heard from her at all? The last time she contacted me was a week ago on Thursday. I see. Well, thanks for telling me that. Does this mean that you are finally looking for your missing daughter? What? If you are so concerned about her, you should know that she is with me at my house. And I want you to explain to me what you have been doing all this time. How dare you, Scarlet? I have a very good reason to leave. My best friend was in a terrible accident. She was on the verge of death. I had to go back to my hometown and be with her. And why didn't you take Irene with you if you were going to be away for so long? I thought I would come back soon after checking on my friend, but when I got there, I lost track of time. If that was the case, you should have informed me or your husband about your situation. How could you leave a little girl in third grade alone at home for a whole week? I'm really sorry. I was afraid that you or your husband would get angry at me for leaving the house for a few hours. I was worried that you would hate me for doing it, so I didn't tell anyone. But the one who was most worried was Irene. And another thing, I know that you are lying about going back to your hometown, Rachel. Did you call my parents and ask them about me? Yes, I did. Well, I didn't go to my parents' house. I stayed at my best friend's house the whole time. Stop lying to me. I'm sick of your excuses. I know everything. I know that you packed a huge suitcase full of clothes and stuff and left the house for a week without Irene. And when I saw you coming back to your house with someone else in the car, I saw their face clearly. What? And as they drove away, I took a picture of their license plate, and I'm searching it right now. So you know how this is going to end, right? Do you know what we are going to say to you? Oh, Scarlet, I'm so sorry. I didn't want you to find out about this. You should be sorry to your husband and daughter, not me. Does my husband know about this? Yes, he does. But you're wrong. Let me tell you the truth. I was feeling lonely and bored while my husband was gone. And I love my husband and Irene with all my heart. I'm sorry for what you discovered, but please forgive me. You cheated on your husband. Not only that, but you also left Irene alone many times to go on vacation. Do you think I'm okay with that? I did not cheat on my husband. Do you really want me to reveal all the evidence to you, Rachel? The man who brought you home was a man of your age. But we were not alone. Then can you prove that there were other people with you at all times? Well, um, I mean, there were some people I met there. Before we talk about your affair, let's talk about the main issue here. And that is that you left your little girl alone for days. And all those times she called me a few weeks ago, you were not even in the house with her, right? And after I talked to you about her calling me, you yelled at her to never call me again, right? I'm sorry. If you only cheated on your husband, I would let you and my son deal with it. But you left Irene alone to go out with another man. And not for a day or two, but once for a whole seven days. I will never forgive you for something so irresponsible. I don't think you deserve to be her mother ever again. What did my husband say about this? You should know better than anyone what he said, right? What do you think a father who loves his daughter so much would say? I don't want to get a divorce. I was just having fun with some other men. You left your little girl by herself for days to go and have fun with other men. And you thought we wouldn't be upset with you? Scarlet, I swear I'll never do anything behind my husband or my daughter's back again. So please, help them understand what happened. I love my daughter so much. She's the best thing that ever happened to me. I never meant to abandon her. I just don't want to lose her or my husband. You threatened Irene that if she told anyone about you, or that she was left alone, her dad would never come back. That's how you treated the girl you say you love so much. 
I didn't mean it as a threat. I was just asking for a favor. You told her the worst thing. That she never wanted to hear from you. And that was that. Her father could never come home if she talked about you. I'm telling you right now that you have left your daughter behind by choosing to scar her so that you could go off and have sex with other men. When children are at their youngest, they are the most vulnerable to being hurt by their parents' actions, and those scars will never heal. I'm sorry. I really messed up a lot this time. That's why this week-long trip is going to be my last time. Because I knew what I was doing was stupid. I'm telling the truth to you now, so please believe me. I don't believe a word that comes out of your mouth after what stupid things you've gone and pulled. And that's because you lied to me about all of it. I have not. I'm telling you that not all of this has been a lie. Please, Scarlet, just give me one more chance to make all of this right. You were the one that made yourself lose all the respect you had gained from me. You would apologize to me for any of the troubles that Irene was causing me when she called over and over again. But you forgot to apologize for all the troubles you were causing us. At this point, you can go ahead and run off with whatever guy you'd like that isn't my son. You're the only person that's willing to lie to your own child and then lie to her grandma and father, right? So you can go ahead and live a life outside my family. Rachel and my son ended their marriage in a bitter divorce. And in that divorce, my son fought hard and won full custody of Irene. And so now he has returned to his home with me, and we both take care of Irene with all our love. This is something that I only discovered after the divorce, but it turned out that Rachel had been sleeping with other men for more than a year before we found out. And the main man that she was having an affair with was her boss from her part-time job. But he was not the only man she had been with during that time, as there were four other men that she would hook up with when her husband was away for business. And we also learned later that what she meant by there being other people with her and the men that she went out with for a week was that she had been with her boss and another couple that had all engaged in sexual activities together. It was both very disgusting, but also relieving to find out all of this about her because she would only ever go out with these guys while my son was on business trips. So neither him nor I ever suspected anything about Rachel being out of the house. And if she had not left the house for over a week, leaving Irene on her own, we may never have known about what Rachel was doing with all those other men. But I guess this time Rachel became a little too reckless and wanted to be around her boss and other men a bit more than before. And having left the house multiple times while leaving Irene at home all alone... I can't believe that she never realized how lonely it was making her daughter. I think all of that really created a lot of scars for Irene, but I'm so grateful that she had the courage to tell me about it so that my son and I could take action. And as for Rachel and her boss, he apparently had a wife himself that he was still married to. And so in the end, Rachel had to pay a hefty settlement to my son but also had to do the same to the wife of the man she thought was worth having an affair with. And of course, since my son got full custody of Irene, Rachel will be left paying child support for a long time now, until Irene turns 18. So for the next 10 years or so, she's going to live life under all the trouble she's caused herself, and hopefully while being in deep regret about all of it. I hope that length of time is enough to teach her that she never really cared about her family and should just stay the whore that she is for the rest of her life. Irene was really sad at the time of the divorce, but over just a couple of months, brightness began to fill her eyes again. And right now, she's back to being the happy girl we love as she runs off to school every day. And after the amount of time, she was left home all alone with nobody to keep her company. Whenever there is someone home with her now, she's so excited. And as for my son and I, we are so happy to know that there will be no more family around her that are willing to lie and threaten her. I will do everything I can to make sure that my granddaughter doesn't have to relive those memories. So for now, I'm going to make sure that her and I are always around each other and that she is someone she can count on to help her when she needs it. And in the place of her missing mother... I'll be there to give her the love she needs to grow up strong and cheerful.